the most trusted coverage of Harvey, only on Fox 4. We know that a lot of folks um, are going to lose their home. Many folks don't have flood insurance. We know that the option to fill out FEMA requests, that will help as well. But there is actually a new law that is set to take effect on Friday, so just days away, that aims to crack down on frivolous insurance lawsuits. However, it also reduces the penalty interest rate insurance companies could face for late payments when a policyholder files a lawsuit. So. That's a lot of jargon. We have the head of the Texas Trial Lawyers Association on the phone with us, Brian Blevins, on the phone. Brian, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Can you please, in layman's terms, explain what this new law means to the average Joe? Sure. First of all, um, I'm a lawyer here in town with Provost Humphrey, and I was the former president of the Texas Trial Lawyers Association and was involved in the legislative fight in which this law was passed. Um, and obviously, you guys are reporting on things that are much more important than claims and, you know, potential lawsuits or disputes that may happen down the road. And no one's suggesting that anyone should risk their life or endanger themselves and a claim. But you don't have to. Uh, we all know what the event is, Harvey. We all know that people are being flooded. You know if your home is underwater. You know if it's been hit by lightning. You know if it's caught fire. You know if it, what damage has happened to it. You can email uh, your agent or your insurance carrier. You can call and get a claim number and report your claim. You can provide that information without ever putting your life at risk. And we can talk about that a little bit more. But the reason that people are concerned about this is because as of September 1st, so a claim has to be filed by August 31st. And the number one thing that happens if that if you don't file your claim is that you're going to lose one of the biggest uh, penalty provisions, which makes insurance companies be accountable. Uh, the law for almost 30 years has been that if an insur insurance company denies your claim, fails to properly address your claim, then they suffer a penalty of 18 percent interest. Uh, the law slashes that almost in half uh, to somewhere between 8 to 10 percent. There are lots of other provisions in the law that deal specifically with the type of information that you have to provide in your claim, when you have to provide it, uh, what information, you even have to make calculations of your damages. These are all things that are increases over the current requirements of law and are basically set up to create a burden uh, for claim holders to file their claims and successfully pursue their claims. Those are all going to be applicable. There is some uh, dispute in the language of the bill as to what parts of this bill will be applicable to when a claim is filed versus uh, when a lawsuit is filed. But the safest thing would be to go ahead and notify your insurance carrier of your name, your address, um, the insured on the policy, uh, the event, obviously Harvey, what generally is happening to your property to have a loss. Um, so that you can try to preserve your rights under the existing Texas law. So right now, what folks in Southeast Texas can do, notify insurance companies, take pictures and video, and let them know that you will be filing a claim. Um, is there any option that this law could be stopped because of this event? I mean, I know that there had to be two sides to this story, right? And not everyone was for this change. No, uh, we, we fought this bill for two straight uh, legislative sessions. Uh, we provided every single legislature with detailed provisions on why this was a bad law. Um, the Texas Department of Insurance did an exhaustive study um, which showed that, that the problem that was being circulated um, as the reason for change uh, was actually not the problem. And in fact, that, that there were other problems that, that the law refuses to address. Um, but to go to your question, um, there is, uh, interestingly enough, the Supreme Court of Texas and the Court of Criminal Appeals of Texas yesterday issued an order that due to the weather disruptions uh, in our communities and in the court systems, that the judges will have some discretion um, to suspend or modify deadlines um, in statutes, rules, and procedures. Now. Mm -hmm. It's not in, it don't, by no means was that opinion designed to help this situation. Um, it's designed to deal with a whole array of when you have to file certain things and motions and, and appeals and whatnot that's been disrupted. But it's possible um, that if you end up in a dispute, uh, if you've made your claim, if 
you've made your claim before by August 31st, but you end up in a dispute with your insurance company and a lawsuit does have to be filed, then you may get some break because of that. But the first and foremost thing would be to go ahead and make sure you file your claim. And again, you don't have to have pictures. You don't have to have measurements. You don't have to list out all of your damage in order to alert your insurance company that you have suffered a loss and that you are filing a claim. You can call them. I've received numerous folks who have texted back, appreciated the information that we got out to them, and that they were able to contact their insurance carrier and that they were given over the phone a claim number. So you either want to make sure you get your claim to the insurance company in writing by email, or if you're talking to them, you want to make sure that you get a confirmed claim number. This is the one thing that I do agree with, just so everybody understands. This law does not change or affect TWA policies. So if you're covered by a TWA policy, as a lot of people are in Jefferson County, this law doesn't change that. You don't need to worry about it. If your only damage is flood damage and you're covered by a FEMA policy, this law does not change that. It's dealing with private homeowners and business owners. Business owners in particular need to be aware of this. Okay, and I'm sure this is something that we will continue to cover as the ramifications of Harvey's devastation clears and we figure out and we kind of take note of everything that has been destructed because of Harvey. Brian Blevins, the former president of the Texas Trial Lawyers Association, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon, sir. Thank you.